We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Boston Red Sox and the Texas Rangers. The Red Sox have now won five consecutive games. They'll aim to continue their winning streak next. Kyle Gibson will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that uh, is a little bit up and down throughout points of his career. A career ERA just over four. When he's good, he can be really good. And when he's bad, well, let's just say he can be pretty bad at times. But it'll be interesting to see which one we see. He's a little bit of Jekyll and Hyde. Hopefully he's going to be a little bit more Jekyll than Hyde in this one here today. Here's the first pitch to him. First pitch of the ball game misses here, and that's how we begin this four-game weekend set. And, fellas, you take a look at this Rangers team entering play here tonight. They did get the win last time out, but it hasn't been the best week for them as they've won just twice in their last six tries. Yeah, Maddie, this team is starting to really come together. They won last night. They're playing really nice. I expect much more of the same today. Two and one now to the Boston leadoff hitter. Game time temperature here in even 60 degrees. Ball grounded toward Odour at second. Scooped up. And there's one gone to begin the evening. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? Yeah, I'm pretty excited to get a chance to watch Xander Bogarts do his thing. He's what we call a run producer. Top five in the American League in RBIs right now. So obviously he's a big part of this offense, and we'll see what he has in store in this one. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. He'll swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250 four home runs and a dozen RBIs. Oh and one here it comes. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one behind the plate is Gary Simmons. Dero, this Gary Simmons he's the kind of umpire that pitchers really like to throw to. Yeah I'm OK with it though Dan you want to go east west I'll make the adjustment it's the north south that'll kill you. Weak rounder back to the mound and there's out number two. Striding forward now is the D.H. J.D. Martinez and he's one to watch out for a seven game hitting streak coming in. First delivery to him on the way. Sinker runs outside to start the at bat one and oh. And he won't bite at that one either. It's two and oh. Three and oh now. I love the ability to hold up right there, especially with count leverage. I know you want to get aggressive in the strike zone, but he was able to notice that that wasn't his pitch. Three and one to Martinez. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, 3 0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's key holding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. Three balls and two strikes to the DH for the Red Sox. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Hard on the ground toward short, fielded cleanly. Throw on to Guzman at first, and the inning is over. Red Sox go down one, two, three. And now the Rangers will get their shot in a scoreless ball game. Chris Sale gets the call for game one of the series. 
Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy's had a solid year up to this point. It's not an easy thing to do in baseball this year with all the high scoring games, but this guy has an ERA of sub three, and that's saying something. If he continues to do that, I think you're going to see a really good performance out of him in this one. Standing in, Leody Tavares. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now here's the pitch. And a foul tip held on to here at strike one. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They come in riding a five-game winning streak, and they've really got things clicking. Yeah, Maddie, this team's coming together right now. They're playing dangerous baseball. You can tell the look in their eye. They feel good about where they're at. They've won a few games in a row, and they look to continue that trend today. A ball and a strike now. The 1-1. One, one. He's outside for a ball. And he comes back with a pitch right down the middle for strike two. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. The 2-2. Two, two. Swing and a ground ball to third, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Now here it comes. Got him. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. At the plate, Nick Solak rounded down the third baseline. Devers has it, and there are two away now. So next to the plate for Texas, Matt Duffy. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Sale has his target. Here's the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Wind up and the 0 1. Outside for a ball, 1 and 1. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. The 2 1 home. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Waiting on it is Benintendi, and that ends the inning. Rangers set down in order. Still no score. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. First pitch coming. Here it is. And a good slider here to start the at-bat, but it's ruled a ball, 1-0. Two balls and no strikes for Bogarts. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. And it's fouled away. Now the 2 1. He's in there for strike number two.
had to sit back on the changeup and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Here now is Rafael Devers. As he'll take a look at a sinker here too low for ball one. He'll enter play here at an even 250. 10 home runs and 23 driven in. Now a good pitch around the knees but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. That's where he wants that sinker to end up but that was a nice job of laying off. Smoked on the ground up the middle. He's got it. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. That is good. So bases are empty here with two gone and that'll bring up a former gold glover the first baseman Mitch Moreland. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. The 1 0 home. A swing and a miss, strike one. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. 2 and 1 to the Red Sox first baseman. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Right fielder is on the run. He's there to make the play and that'll retire the side. Down in order go the Red Sox. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Last half of the second set to go. And next it'll be the outfielder Joey Gallo. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swing and a miss on the slider. Nothing in one. Nope. And here's a pitch high and tight for a ball. One and one. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Hey, I can't have one of my best left-handed power bats fishing for balls off the plate. And this will be lined into center field, and they've got themselves their first hit of the ball game. Man, that's surprising, Dan. This guy's flailing at stuff in the dirt and above his head to get to two strikes, and then he lays him the cook. Oh, you would think after throwing two pitches out of the zone that he would triple up and throw a third one either up, down, or in and out, but that one right in the middle of the strike zone. In now, Ronald Guzman. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Set and the pitch. Sale. It's a guy who throws a lot of strikes, rarely walks people, but what does bite him occasionally is the home run ball. Matt, this is a guy that's not a power type of pitcher, so he needs to rely on being down in the strike zone. One of the keys, he tends to lose being aggressive when he falls behind and he kind of nibbles around the strike zone. And what happens with that, Matty V, he becomes very predictable. And when you don't have overpowering stuff, you tend to be able to get hit hard. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Well, we all know he's going to get strikeouts when he's on the mound. It's kind of his thing. Good. The key for the offense is to actually make them work for him. So that three pitch see you later isn't going to help very much. Here's Todd Frazier now as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. He'll let her play here with that average down in the low 200s. Three homers and 14 driven in. Oh, 
and it's one and one. Bottom of the second here with no score. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Your eyes light up from the offensive side playing in a hitter's park like this. Have to get the ball up to do some damage. I'm not mad at that tape. Scooped up. Step on the back for one. On to Moreland, and they roll two to end the inning. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. We'll go now to the top of the third, and we are tied nothing nothing. So here now is Jackie Bradley. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Now here it comes. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1 and 0. Swing and a soft liner. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up the right handed hitting Francisco Cervelli. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. So here's Michael Chavis now. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. The 1 0 home. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Ball two with a sinker that runs off the inside. Third inning, no score to this point. Can't connect there. It's two and two. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Red Sox go down one, two, three. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Up next for the Rangers, Robinson Chirinos. He went deep in the contest last night. First pitch of the at bat. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. In for a strike, it's one and one. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Late swing there on the changeup. Couldn't make up his mind, I guess. It's strike two. Misses ball two. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Rukna Dodor, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. 
the 3 2 pitch. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Show some great patience and discipline, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. So here's the left handed bat of Ruth Middledor. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. The 0 1 pitch is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. to the ball one and two. Well this is an approach we've seen him use effectively lately. Set up the inside and then get him out with pitches away. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Chirinos on at first. Nobody out. Swing and a miss on the slider and that's out number one. That's just a great pitch, both on the call from the catcher and the execution. If he hits it, there's a good chance it turns into a double play ball, but it's also a spot that's going to get a lot of whiffs, too. That's excellent pitching. To the plate now, Garcia, as he'll take a look at ball one. First swings for him in this one, with a runner still at first and one gone. The 1 0 home ripped down the first base line. He'll go to the bag for one, and they'll have to put the tag on him at second, but it's a 3 to 6 double play, and very quickly the side is retired. Nothing doing for the Rangers. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. Back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Here it comes. Non-competitive pitch right there runs the count to 2-0 and he is ready to do some damage in the box. And he commits to the pitch inside and he definitely went around that strike one. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. No one can make a play on this one, and the first Red Sox hit is good for extra bases. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Well, back in the day, you would hope your leadoff man can work a walk or leg out an infield single, but not in today's game. Now they expect the leadoff hitter to have a little pop, just like this guy. Nice leadoff double. Striding into the box, Alex Verdugo. And he'll hit with a chance to push across the game's first run. Yeah, great RBI opportunity here. But at the very least, he needs to find a way to advance that runner to third. Small things like that in a tight game can make a big difference. As a look, now the pitch. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. 
from the belt. Kicks and deals. Down to one and two. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. The throw to first is in time, one down. Good pitch there, and that was a nice job by his battery mate to complete the play first after the ball hit the dirt. A man at second with one down, and that'll bring up the dangerous bat of J.D. Martinez. He's set. Here it comes. Hey. Here comes the 0 1. Line hard, but foul. Two quick strikes, and now the 0 2. Sinker misses, and it's 1 and 2 now. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He swings and sends it on a line to right center. That gets down and the inning will continue. And the run will score as the Sox are off to a 1-0 lead. Boy, when teams are playing well like this team is on a nice little winning streak right here. They strike early in this one to keep the mojo working. Yeah, Dan, from an offensive standpoint, everyone searches for confidence, and that's exactly what they have right now. Everyone contributing makes for a fun clubhouse. Rafael Devers, the next to bat, as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Devers is one of those prototypical left-handed bats that really excels against right-handed pitching. Sees the ball well coming from that side. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Behind on the swing that time, and it's two and one. And he lays off again, ball three. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. One run, two hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Hit down the line at first, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. A run on two hits, and they leave one. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Red Sox one, and the Rangers nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth, and coming forward the rookie outfielder, Leody Tavares. First pitch coming, here it is. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Now the one and one pitch. It is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. To two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. On the mound, he's thinking, grab some pine, Rook. Listen, for almost everyone, the adjustment to hitting big league pitching is a big one. Some guys have success when they first get called up, but as soon as teams start figuring out how to get you out, that's when the learning process really starts. 
At the plate now, Nick Solak. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. And he falls behind him here as that pitch misses. It's two and one now to the Texas left fielder. Right on the corner, two and two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. And, indeed, the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first, and there are two away now. Well, you know you made a real nice pitch when you bounce it in the dirt, and you still get the hitter to swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. Now at the plate, Matt Duffy. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Sale has his target. Here it comes. Ah. All one's the count. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Ball and two strikes to the Rangers shortstop. Well, there's the classic 0-2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out the side in order. 1-2-3 go the Rangers. They're on the short end of a 1-0 score. All set for the start of the inning and set to go is the veteran first baseman Mitch Moreland. Moreland. The pitch. Ball one. Now the 1 0. Swung on and missed. One and one. And he pulled up in time, but it's a called strike two. And that misses two and two. Now here's the pitch. Line drive base hit. Moreland around first on his way for two. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Wow, this is a perfect example of a wily veteran doing what needs to be done to deliver for his team. Yeah, and just watch this swing. Instead of trying to do too much with it and pull it, he stays inside the ball and is able to smack it to the opposite field for a double. Here's Jackie Bradley now. As he'll watch a sinker here that misses, it's ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Lifted the other way to left center. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Here's the catcher, Francisco Cervelli. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Cervelli, once an Atlanta Brave, he came here by way of trade earlier this year. I know he tell you he'd like to be playing a little bit better but I think it's as advertised for this ball club right now. I think the manager is getting exactly what they expected. Counts even at one and one to Cervelli. Here we go. 
Little chopper back to the mound. Throw on to first, two gone. Next up for the Red Sox, Michael Chavis, runner in scoring position with two gone. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Check swing, but he held up in time, ball one. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this will be foul. The set and the 1 1. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Reined in. Throw on to Guzman at first, and the inning is over. One left for the Red Sox, but they're on top, one to nothing. Welcome back to Arlington. Before we get much further, let's check in with Heidi. Matt, I talked with the Rangers manager during the inning break about the team's offensive production to this point. And he told me he feels like they're being too patient at the plate right now. Too much of the time they're finding themselves in disadvantage counts like 0-2 and 1-2. And that's basically never a formula for success. He said they're getting a lot of strikes to swing at, so the emphasis the rest of the game has to be to jump on those strikes early in the at-bat. Thank you, Heidi. Here's Joey Gallo now. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Oh, and he just blows the fastball by him for strike one. Lays off the slider, and it's one and one. Now here's the pitch. Uh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off-speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and change-ups. But to chase a fastball that far outside the zone tells me this hitter's not seeing it well at all. Counts even two and two to Joey Gallo. A too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. A doubled up on breaking balls there outside. Now might be the time to bust that fastball in. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Boy, he's really on a roll of the hill right now. As we roll through it again, remember, he struck out the side in the last inning, and now he picks up right where he left off by striking off the leadoff man here. Let's see if he can keep this going for a little bit. here with the bases empty and that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Ronald Guzman here comes the first pitch and he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at bat it's ball one two and oh now you can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now in that first AB he went down on strikes Too tight with that one. Three and oh. Todd Frazier will be next. One out, nobody on. In there, three and one. And, oh, that should have been ball four there, but it's a called strike, and that runs things full at three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Fouled off. Inside with the fastball and he works the base on ball. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time.
Ready for another chance. Todd Frazier. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Tried to check it and it's 0-1. Ball one. Eight. Wow, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with a changeup. Runners on first with one down. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. Let's take a look at the sequence here again. The first three pitches, now all three down in the zone. So now you've got a guy that's thinking something down around the knees. He's conditioned to kind of look down there. That's when you mix it up and put it by him at the letters. Into the box, Robinson Chirinos. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. One and one to Chirinos. Two out with the man at first. One and two to the Rangers catcher. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. Down the left field line and deep. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. A runner on first with two away. Fouled away. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Hey, five foul balls in a row, loving the battle in the box right here, making the pitcher work. Popped him up. Devers is there. And that's the third out. One left for Texas. They still trail one nothing. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Andrew Benintendi. Andrew Benintendi. First pitch coming, here it is. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. And now the Ranger bullpen swings into action. A lefty and a right hander are throwing down there. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Tavares waits on it. One away. The right Stepping in, right Alex Verdugo. Alex oh, for two for him to this Verdugo. point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. Drops in a strike to start the oh. at bat. Nothing in one. And it's quickly 0 2. 
Bases are empty, one man out. And another foul ball. The 0 2 once more is taken for ball one. Good hard sinker, but he lays off to even things at two and two. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0-2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. One out, nobody on. And he fouls this one off. Smoke toward third. And that's the second out. Now that designated hit. Next will be the designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. First delivery to him on the way. Count 1 and 0. Two out, nobody on. A ball and a strike. A swing by Martinez, and this is driven to left. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. A solo shot here to left, number 10 for him on the year. And that gives the Red Sox a 2 to nothing lead. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Stepping in now, Xander Bogarts. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. He's one for two in this one. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. One and two to the Boston shortstop. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. The Red Sox do pick up a run on the solo shot. Through five and a half, it's now two nothing Boston. Here's Rognit Odor now to start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. No doubt about that, that they've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they face other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. First pitch coming, here it is. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. in front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair two strikes on him now the wind up and the 0 2 pitch here's a breaking ball but it doesn't quite find the strike zone that was a nasty sweeping slider right there if he was able to just catch the back door a little bit he would have picked up that backwards K and a good take there close but it's two and two. And it's fouled away. The 2 2 one more time. Fouled off. The 2 2 one more time. 
And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. I think we're starting to see the frustration mount from this offense. It's been a pretty Number dominant 50. performance on the mound, and these hitters have had no answer for anything he's throwing up there. That will wear on you if it lasts throughout most of the game like it has here. In now, Garcia. He swings and grounds it to short. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And no chance at a recovery here as despite a great effort that time, they won't get an out on the play. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, dealer in a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. and No hits to this point. Now the 1 0. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. Ready with the 2 0 pitch. 2 and 1. Runner at first here, one man out. A oh, double play ball to second. Four, six, three. It's a double play and the inning is over. Rangers go down quickly there. They trail things here two to nothing. Rick Martin is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 59. Rick Coming to the plate now, Rafael Devers. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch on its way. Too high. The 2 0. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. Into the windup. Here's the 2 and 1 pitch. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He now fell behind 2-0 to the start the at-bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. Ball one to start the at-bat. The 1-0 home. It is taken strike one. Bases are empty one man out. And right into the shift but a foul ball one and two now. No offer at the curve that time and it's knotted up at two and two. A full count three balls and two strikes. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Frazier is there. Throw on to first will get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Oh, Nevertheless, there are two away now. Stepping up to the plate, Jackie Bradley Jr. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. In there, strike one. Yeah, he made up his mind early to take the first pitch because that thing was right down the middle.
skied in the air to straightaway left. Solax on the move. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Down in order go the Red Sox, as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. Standing in now, Nick Solak. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0 and 1. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. There's a fastball pretty close that time, but ruled a ball. 1 and 1. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, 1 and 2. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. The throw down to first, one away. Striding in, Matt Duffy. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. No balls and a strike to count. Awfully close with the slider there, but it's one and one. I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pot commit and bury that inside, it leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. One out, nobody on. Count is one and two now. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. The pitch. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two strike approach either. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo as he'll take a look at a strike on the outside corner. It's 0 and 1. He's working on a one for two game so far. Sales ready. Here's the 0 1. A swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2. Boy he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. And he's got another one here. Twelve punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. Rangers set down in order. They trail it here two to nothing. Luke Farrell has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number Now in the box, Francisco Cervelli. Third trip to the plate for him here. He struck out and grounded out in his first two tries. Pitch on the way. In there, 0 and 1. And that misses one and one. One and two to the Red Sox catcher. One and two. The one two. Nope, outside. Oh. 
Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys on this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Into the box now, Michael Chavis. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. The 1-0. Hit the other way out toward right field. Gallo is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Now back. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Andrew Benintendi. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball, 1 0. And he gets the call that time for strike number one. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Bases are empty here with two men out. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Line hard to the left side, but foul. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. And this is taken for a ball. He walked him, and the Sox had themselves a two out base runner. Now batting, right fielder, Alec. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that brings up the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Hit back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Cutting it close here, but he comes through in the eighth to extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he was staring at his last at bat right there. Probably his last at bat. Would have been tough to get him another A-B in this one, but he's able to get it done. Hey, better late than never. And I'm sure when he walked into that batter's box right there, he's thinking, this very well could be my last A-B of this game. So if I'm going to keep this streak alive, going to have to do it right now. J.D. Martinez will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here. A solo home run that was really one of the key at-bats of the ball game to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Again he sends it out of play. The next 0 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Boston strands a couple, but they hold a 2 nothing lead. Bottom of the inning now, and next to battle will be the first baseman, Ronald Guzman. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan of bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh, one's the count. 
The wind up and the 0 1. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will get foul for strike two. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Bradley on the run. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Now batting, Todd Frazier over two for him to this point. First offering on its way. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Well, you know you've got it working on the mound when they're swinging right through it, even when you're putting it right down the middle of the strike zone. Not the greatest of game plans, though. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's thrown quality pitches. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. He loses him on ball four. And when your pitch count gets over 100, you've got to expect them to lose a little bit of accuracy out there. And I think if he gets in any more trouble, they might come get him. We'll see if he can finish strong. So a runner at first now with one away, and that'll bring up the catcher, Robinson Chirinos. From the stretch. Nope. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. Runners on first with one down. May have gotten a piece of that one, but no matter, it's one and one. Into the corner and slicing foul. Again, another foul ball. Here he comes again, one, two. A uh, great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. That was a nasty-looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. So now to the plate, Rukna Dodor. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Waiting on it is Benintendi, and that's the third out. Rangers leave one. They're down two to nothing. Jesse Chavez enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Set to start the ninth in this one. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Xander Bogarts. First pitch of the at bat. Ninth Eight. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Oh, 
fastball misses inside. It's even at one. One and two. I got to count one and two. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Fielded cleanly. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Yeah, that. So striding forward now, Rafael Devers. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Line to the right side, but foul. The wind up and the 0 1. Now the Rangers get a reliever up and throwing in the bullpen as a right handers begun to warm up out there. In for a strike and he jumps ahead one and two now. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The one two. This is pulled into right, but he'll barely have to move out there in right as he hauls this one in for the second out. Well, this one was squared up pretty good, but just like pitchers give up hits on well executed pitches, batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. Into the box, Mitch Moreland. He was a ground out victim last time up. First delivery to him on the way. No nope. change up too low, and it's one and oh. Ah. A bit of a hanger, but it's laid off and called a strike. Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. To one and two now. Two out, nobody on. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Now here's the pitch. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. Red Sox go down one, two, three, but they're on top two to nothing. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And striding forward, the designated hitter, Garcia. The designated hitter. Number 56. First pitch coming. Here it is. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Lifted in the air out to right. On the run is Verdugo. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. So the Rangers batting order turns over and set to go. Leody Tavares. He struggled at the top of the lineup in this one. Hitless to this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way. His slider has been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Two balls and a strike to the Rangers leadoff hitter. Well, those were a couple of close pitches right there in the inner part of the zone. Hitters will tell you, pitches in that location are tough to do anything with. 
Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Popped him up. Verdugo's on the move. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now to the plate, Nick Solak. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, and they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Sale gets the sign. First pitch on the way. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked the guy up with it. Down and away, ball one. Two run game, last of the ninth with two away. And here's a fastball, not close as he runs it to two and one now. That fastball really got away from him there. That's kind of a red flag for me that he's starting to tire or wear down a little bit. The first thing that goes is location and then your mechanics. We'll see if this continues. All even now, two and two. Texas down to their final strike in this one. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Wow. Talk about total dominance. Nine innings, only two hits allowed. That's about as good as it gets. This guy was as good in the ninth inning as he was in the first. So close to baseball history. This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. The Boston Red Sox took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Chris Sale earned his fifth win of the year as he allows only two hits over nine full innings. Kyle Gibson pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, 